how come every time I decide to film a video, my neighbors decide it's time to drill and saw and do construction stuff? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Before I get on with the video, I just wanted to share with you guys what it took for me to sit here right now and film this. I was using a certain memory card and it wouldn't work on the camera. And then when I checked the memory card, it was broken, like it was brittle or whatever. So I literally at 3.05 drove to Green Hills. Granted, I lived like 10 minutes away. Drove all the way to Green Hills looked for parking because as you know it is a weekend so Green Hills is always really full found parking ran to v-mall looked for a shop that sold SD cards found one bought it went home and now I'm filming so if I look like a hot sweaty mess that's why but at least you guys know I'm committed to this channel with that being said I thought I would share with you guys my top 10 MAC lipsticks let me just say I don't have favorites. All of my MAC lipsticks, I love them all equally. They're all my favorites. You better. I love all of my MAC lipsticks and I own a lot. I'm not even trying to brag here. It's quite shameful how many I own. And um, maybe one day I'll share with you guys all of my MAC lipsticks. But for now, I thought that I would share with you guys just the 10 that I reach for the most. These range from nudes to pinks to purples to reds and even like a deep dark brown. I figured that I would share with you guys a wider range of some of my top lipsticks just so that if you're looking for a certain color or if you want like a different shade of lipstick that you want to try out. Now before we get on to the video, I just want to put a hashtag right up here. Can we just do hashtag pray for Carla's lips? I have micellar water, cotton, and lip balm because I'm going to swatch for you guys 10 shades of lipstick. I know, that's what you call commitment. So if you guys want to see my top 10 MAC lipsticks, please keep watching. So the first shade I'm going to start with is the one that I'm actually wearing now, and this is Max Velvet Teddy. This, for me, is the perfect nude. I love this color so much. It's perfect for every day. I got this about a year ago, and for the first like two to three months, I was obsessed with this shade. I was wearing it every day. It's the perfect everyday lipstick if you want something subtle, but you still want a little bit of color in your lips. And for girls who are fair like me, it's really hard to find nude lipsticks that don't make you look so dead. And I feel like Velvet Teddy is one of those lipsticks that it may be nude, but it's the right shade of nude and it doesn't make you look dead. And it's not too peachy, so you won't look weird or you won't look like you're wearing an odd lip color. The next shade is Max Please Me. Now, this is a cult classic color. I remember it was brought up in a couple of collections and then the demand for it was so high that people were just freaking out. They were like, please put it in your permanent collection. I was probably one of them, not gonna lie. It's a very muted mauve pink. It's more cool tone than it is warm tone. So if you're fair, again, please take note guys that I'm picking shades that I think suit me better because I am so fair and you know, it's really hard to find certain colors that look good and don't make me look so dead. And Please Me is one of them. Again, it's another everyday shade. So if you're not into the nudes, but you want something pinky or you want something along the lines of your lips but better, Max Please Me is the perfect shade. Next up is another pink that I love. This is the MAC Huggable Lip Color in the shade What A Feeling. It's very nice, it's super hydrating, and it's quite shiny, but it doesn't move around on your lips. Again, it's another your lips but better with a glossy finish type of color and it's perfect for every day. You could even use this if you're going to school, if you're in college or if you're in high school and they allow you to wear like a tinted lip balm or like a little bit of lip color, then this is the lipstick that you want to check out. It's a fun color if you're wearing like a dark eye or if you have mascara on and you just want a cute little pop of color, then what a feeling is the now that we've done nudes and the muted pinks, we're going to move on to brighter colors. And this one is probably the brightest pink that I own aside from Pink Pigeon, which is another super bright color by MAC. This is the Viva Glam Taraji P. Henson Matte Lipstick. First of all, look at how amazing this packaging is. I love the Viva Glam lipsticks because of the different packagings that they come in. I have the Ariana Grande, the Miley Cyrus, 
and I think I have a Rihanna one as well. But this one by Taraji is absolutely beautiful. It is a bright pink. Even if it's matte, it still feels very comfortable to wear on the lips and it's not chalky. It's not the retro matte formula that MAC is known for. It's more of just like a hydrating matte, but it stays on all day. This is the perfect bright lip if you're afraid to try like super, super neon purple or blue or green, but you want something fun, then this is something that you should check out because again, because it's pink, it's not as in your face, but at the same time, it's still very, very bright. Speaking of very, very bright, <laughs> we're gonna move on to the red family. This is the first red that I absolutely love as well. I'm gonna be telling you guys in this entire video that I love every shade because it's true. This is Max Lady Danger. If you're into like a bright orangey red lip color, then this is something that you wanna check out. If you can go to a Max store and swatch it, please do. If you notice, Kendall Jenner and Kourtney Kardashian tend to have like this orangey red neon lip. Lady Danger has that same effect. It's very bright, it's very neon, and it's really a true orange red. So it's sort of like a very fiery, bright, fun color that I think that if you're into red lipsticks and you want to try a different kind of red, then Lady Danger is the red for you. Next up, we have a MAC OG. Like, when you say cult classics, this shade definitely is brought up a lot. It is Max Ruby Woo. This is probably their most famous red and uh, for good reason. This is such a gorgeous shade. It's blue toned red, which means it helps make your teeth look whiter. And it's a true red, like it's super bright on the lips, but it doesn't look neon, it doesn't look orangey, it doesn't look warm, it's very cool toned. And I find that on everybody, this shade is super flattering. It's the retro matte finish though, so if you're not really into super chalky or super matte lipsticks, then this might not be the shade for you. But if I were you, I would still go and swatch it because seriously, this is my favorite red. It is so gorgeous. And if you guys follow my mom on Instagram or you see her on my Instagram and you notice that she's got like this super extra bright red lipstick, it's Ruby Woo because it's one of her favorite shades. And for good reason, like I said, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous red. This is another one of my favorites. It's Max Russian Red. It's not as bright as Ruby Woo, but it's still very red and very true to color. It's less blue toned and more, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little bit darker and a little bit warmer, but at the same time, it's still not orangey. It's a gorgeous red as well. If you're looking for something not as bright, or not as shocking as Ruby Woo is, because Ruby Woo is really the type of lip color that once you swipe it on, you're like, ah. This one is more of like, I see you, I see you red lip. So if you're feeling sexy or sultry, Russian red is the way to go. Now that we're done with the reds and we're moving to like sort of the purples and the darker toned lipsticks, this one is again another staple of mine. This is MAC Rebel and it's in the satin finish. It's not matte, it glides onto your lips perfectly and then it dries sort of semi-matte, I would say, and then it leaves the most beautiful stain. If you want a bolder, darker, vampier lip, but you're afraid to go towards the blacks or like the deep purples, then this is a shade that you wanna check out because it's more on the maroon side. It's still like got that reddish undertone, so it's not as shocking or it's not as bold or it's not as dark as like the blacker lipsticks or like the really, really dark brown ones. It's more of like a maroon, a purple type color. And again, I've seen different people wearing this and they all look amazing in it. It's a very cute, but at the same time, sexy color. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a really fun color to wear. So if you want something a little bit more exciting or if you wanna try a new shade, then Rebel is a sort of like a purple vampy way to go down to our last two lip colors. The first one is already on like the dark side, but it's on the brown dark side, if that even makes sense. This is Max Whirl. This is actually one of Kim Kardashian's favorite lipsticks. For the Kardashian fans out there, that's exciting. If you don't like Kim Kardashian, 
you know, to each his own. I personally love the Kardashians. I watch them every Monday. They're my faves. But Kardashians aside, this is one of my favorite brown lipsticks. Super flattering on me, even if I'm super pale. And I think that it's the type of lipstick that would look good on any skin tone. Again, it's more of a dark brown color, but at the same time, because it's a little bit warmer, it looks very, not natural, but it just really complements the face well and I think that if you want to start going for a darker lip color but you're scared to take the plunge this is a good like transition shade it's a good intermediate in the middle I'm getting there type of shade and if Kim Kardashian approves Carla approves too what all right guys we're down to our last lipstick now this is the darkest one of the bunch this is max antique velvet I got this I think last year or a year and a half ago, I got this at Ristanz because I wanted to try the whole black lip trend, but then when I saw just how black the lipsticks were, I was like, I mean, I don't know. And then I saw this one and I was like, ooh, you know, it's a very, very dark brown. Like I'm talking dark brown, bordering black with a hint of purple. I can't really describe it. You guys will be able to see it swatched on my lips later on. But this lipstick will make a statement. So if you really want a bold lip, but again, you don't want to do the whole black look or the dark blue or the dark green, then this is the one for you. It's still on like the brown family, on the brown, maroon, semi-blackish family. And I feel like it's something that anyone can pull off and is something that you can wear all year round. I mean. I maybe wouldn't wear this during the summer, but I've seen girls who wear darker lip colors in the summer and I'm like, okay, I see you, you know, I'm gonna try that one day. But yeah, I, I usually wear this like during Christmas time or if I just wear mascara and I've got a little bit of concealer and I really just want like a lip color that's gonna pop, then this is the one that I'm gonna use and I love it. It's very easy to wear. I don't think it's as severe or as scary as the blacks and the blues that you see on the market. And if you really do want to try a darker lip color, then Antique Velvet, you gotta try it. And that does it for my top 10 MAC lipsticks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also check out my previous videos over here if you haven't seen them already. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite brand of lipstick is and what the shade is called. I would love to give it a try. I'm always on the lookout for a new lipstick favorite despite having about 40 lipsticks, which I know is really, really not good. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! R.I.P. Lips. Ugh. Thank you. I legit look like the Joker. And like not in the cool way. <laughs>